How did this war start? Yes. Well, do you want to take it all the way back to the early 1900s? No, no, no. On October 6th, yeah, we might was as well Israel... Take it back. Tell you what, I was there for a lot of wars. You know, you know when I was around, there was a war going on. on October, there was an occupation on going on. October 6th, Matter of fact, when I was, was around, Israel there was an occupation war with going on. Do you know who was occupying my home when I was around the first time? You, you mean like the, the Romans, the right? shoddy Seattle's apartment that you grew the, up the, in when the, you played Jesus on the afternoon? The Romans, you know. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Jesus Returns to the Beat Charlie Kirk. Okay, I'm going to Charlie Kirk. We're going to look at us. Let's get right into, into today's video. Do you, are you supposed to be Jesus? Is that your whole thing? I am Jesus. Thank oh, you, everybody. that's awfully heretical, but here. okay. Well, I heard you kept saying my name, so I wanted to show up. You know, okay. I'm, I'm busy trying to save the planet from this apocalypse going on. You know what I mean? Jesus H. Christ, but uh, you can just call me Josh. All right, uh, why don't you ask me the questions? I'm sure you have plenty of them. Okay, what's the Hebrew word for uh, father? Man, I, you know, let me tell you something. Uh, <laughs> Abba. I'm sorry? Abba. That's the Greek word for father. Yeah, Greek, you know, whatever. point I'm trying to say is this, yeah, man. Yeah, you don't even make a good Jesus. Wh whatever. What, what language did Jesus speak? Aramaic. Okay, tell me one thing but in Aramaic. But you have to understand, man, I have to come here to speak to you now. You don't speak Aramaic, otherwise you and me would be speaking Aramaic. Oh, okay, I have to right. speak this kind of dumbed down stuff for the you. The enemy has come to lie, steal, cheat, and destroy. What did Jesus say? Uh, I said, love your neighbor. Wrong. The and enemy how has is that working out, by the, the way? Enemy has come uh, to lie, I'm pretty sure steal. I said, love on, your neighbor, love God, You're not even a good God, Jesus. It's, and, one, of the most, and love it's one of the most popular verses in the Bible. John 10, 10. The enemy has come to lie, steal, Bible. steal, and destroy. Who wrote that I, thing anyways? I have I come to give life Bible. and life more abundantly. Okay, so you don't even know the scriptures, and you're pretending to be Jesus, but tell me why you're here. I am Jesus, and I didn't write the scriptures. I lived them. And, and the but main thing I want to tell you is this. I said, love your neighbor and love everybody. That's something that you guys really need to figure out. And I know I got some of my fan clubs. Let's hold on a second. Hold on. My, what, what are those two verses? My name was love Yeshua. Your let's, let's, let's love your neighbor as yourself. Where is that in the Bible? I don't know. I didn't write yeah, it. Leviticus 19. Hold on. I didn't I thought, write the Bible. I thought you're Jesus. I'm Jesus. You, you, you know it's the Torah, about right? Me, not by me. Hold on a Look, second. The point is this, my hold friend. On. Jesus, I said, love Jesus your was neighbor a, and love you're, you're everybody. You're backpedaling so fast because you don't no, even no, know no, the Torah as a pretend Jesus. I'm saying the same thing I was saying hold the first time. Love, I, you see, nobody believed me the first time I was here and then you fucking crucified me. I was just trying to say this, man. Love everybody. Love your neighbor. Stop killing everybody. But you don't even know the verse. Genocides are bad. How about that? You want to put that in the Bible? You can add that as well. So okay, so you want to stop killing people who are just sitting there. I, that would be probably are you, are you a good idea. Are trying to connect with Israel Hamas? Is that your uh, thing? Pretty or? much the whole world okay. at this point. we got a lot of issues. Ke uh, Dr Kendrick, Drake, I mean, what else is going on around here? Look, okay, so I will wait, say this. On. They but, not like us, and this is pretty obvious. But I will. Uh, look, the point I'm trying to make to you, uh, and what was your name again? Charlie? Chad? Chad? I thought you are Jesus and everything, Chadwick? man. No, man, I'm too busy. i got an actual job oh, to do. Oh, yeah, so you believe in a like God who's too if, busy. If, not, if I were not like you, I'd be able to kind of sit here and pretend that you're the worst Jesus I've ever seen. I'm the only Jesus. And I will say this. I am the only one. Matter of fact, and I live in all of you, and thank you for making time for me, by the way. It's been a while. Look, I would say this. If you really are a, a, a fan of mine and you're in my fan club, just just be a nicer person, man. Well, just where be, does it say to just, be nice in the Bible? It's pretty much all over no, there. I mean, that, that was kind of what the What does point, the word nice mean in Latin? The point I was trying to make It means make ignoramus. Where does it say? Love, wait, in the deck. Can you tell me the Ten amor, Commandments? How about amor. Let's go for the Ten Commandments. Want to do it together? Since you're Jesus. Let's go. Right. What are they? Uh, don't be an asshole, number oh, one. Okay, hold on. How no, about number one through on. ten? Don't be an asshole. Wait, hold on. No, actually, that's, that's not one of the that's ten pretty commandments. Much that, I am fact, the Lord that you I'm delivered you from Egypt. You, you shall know the gods before me. You shall know the craven images. Bible, said, you, you shall never what? take the Lord's name in vain. You shall honor your mother and father so may live long in the land in which you are in. You shall honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not give your neighbor's house. We got a synagogue here. One, a two, and a three. We got a synagogue. You don't like the Decalogue because you don't know the Decalogue. Okay. Sinner, everybody. Give it up for the sinner, All right. everybody. Good job. Thank All you right. for, uh, you, you are the worst Jesus. You don't know the Ten Commandments. You don't know anything. So Do thank you know, very much. Okay, you're but you're a thank Christian, you. but you don't love people. No, so I, actually, I don't I, think you're doing love, the job. Hold on a second. I love all people. What do you think about the one million abortions that happen every single year in this country? Is that a genocide to you? No, what's a genocide is what's going on in Palestine right now. Hold on, That's hold on, hold genocide. on. Don't backpedal. You're the king of the I'm world. I'm not a backpedaling. I'm right here hold in front on. of you. Let's just have moral clarity. Do you think a million abortions a year is a genocide. Let me ask you this. Do you think 15,000 children is a genocide? No, it's not even close. It's a tragedy. Oh, it's, it's not, not a genocide. Even close. Hold on. Let's okay, get, let's, let's, get our, let, let's get our... I think this guy doesn't know what a genocide is. What do you guys on. think? A, a genocide is an intentional killing of people to exterminate them. That correct? sounds about right. 
Okay, so sounds like what's going who, on in Palestine right now. Oh, you Am mean I it's right? an active war that Gaza started? Uh, no, that's a genocide. Let, let's let's let's, let's look take at a the, step let's back. Look at the, let's how look at the apartheid that's been going start? on there since the 1940s. How or did before this that, war when start? Zionism, which is a form of European settler colonialism, which I'm sure you're war, a big fan of, how I did this war start? How did this war start? Yes. Well, do you want to take it all the way back to the early 1900s? No, no, no. On October 6th, yeah, we might was well Israel... Take it back. Tell you what, I was there for a lot of wars. You know, you know, when I was around, there was a war going on. on. October, there was an occupation on going on. October 6th, Matter of fact, when I was, was around, Israel there was an at occupation war with Hamas. going on. Do you know who was occupying my home when I was around the first time? You, you mean like the, the Romans, the right? shoddy Seattle's apartment that you grew the, up the, in the, when the, you played Romans? Jesus on the afternoon? The Romans? You know the Romans are, right? The, uh, the, the people you wish you were descended from, but you're really not? Uh, okay, G not even sure what you mean by that. I'm asking you a question. On October yeah. 6th, was Israel actively at war with Hamas? On this day right now, what is going on in Rafa? Hold on, just answer the question, Why man. Why don't you like, answer that question? I'm happy to. Israel is go rightfully ahead. invading Rafa to go kill rightfully. every How last... How is it rightfully? Hold on, because I'm getting there. You have to go answer ahead. the question. On October 6th, was Israel at war with Hamas? I'm asking you a question. What's going on right now in Palestine? I've answered the question, first of all. In no, I don't think you answered Gaza, it correctly. Not in Palestine. In Gaza, which is a strip south of Israel, Israel is rightfully invading Rafah to kill every last Hamas terrorist. Why? Because That's will, not rightful when you kill a bunch of children. You're not answering the question, so I'll answer it for you. You know what happened on October 7th? A dress rehearsal to Holocaust 2.0 oh, wow. is what you happened on October 7th. Land. Uh, and, what and what happened one, before on, that? No, no, what no, no, no. What stop moral on October equivocating 6th. and stop trying to what justify. What on October 6th? For, on October 6th, nothing happened. Oh, really? You know what happened? It was the day before one of the most holy days on the Jewish calendar. What happened you, oh, in Oh, I'm sorry, Jerusalem you're right. Something did happen on October, October 6th. 6th. You know what October 6th happened? All the Arab terrorists were getting ready to go kill babies and women in Israel oh, to go right? invade rock concerts, kibbutzes, and nurseries and, where they right? where and those, go slit where little those, babies' throats. Where are those Arab babies now? Well, I'm sorry, Arab babies? Yeah, you mean the where Jewish are they babies? At now? No, I'm talking about the Arab ones now. Well, hold on. You're talking about How many of them civilians died? that How have... How many of them died and are dying right you now? You mean civilians you're that have died? there with your microphone they on? They, they brought it upon themselves, man. I don't think so. Well, and that's not something I support. Well, hold so on. So I will say this in closing, because this guy is a buffoon and definitely not a fan of mine. It has represented anything of mine. I well, will say this. He doesn't even know the, the Ten Commandments. The point I'm trying to say is to love everybody. That's it. Just stop killing everybody. Love everybody. Maybe you and me can get a kosher hot dog what? after this. I think it would be great. What, what love is love your neighbor and uh, they not like us. That's all I got to say. Uh, love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus 19, Deuteronomy 3 through 5. Hero Israel, I am the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God with their heart, soul, strength, and mind. He's Jesus, but not a very good one. Okay, let's get on up here. Who wants to come next? Yes. It's funny. These guys pretend to be Jesus walking around. They don't even know the Bible. It's hilarious. Yes. It's funny how this guy pretends to be Jesus, whereas he does not even know the scripture. It's, it's really, really funny. And it's, it's strange. Like, He's hypocritical. The Jesus who came here right now, he he he's delusional. He's just posing as one, and he's dodging from the Christians. He doesn't know the Ten Commandments. He doesn't even know the Bible as a whole. So, uh, um, someone who's posing as Jesus, this this itself is is bad. It's something we condemn as Christians. Like you just don't come out and say you are Jesus. You Jesus using the name of God in vain. Coming out to speak out here, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. God help me. So this, I love how Charlie handled um, this students who came out to be as Jesus. Um, Charlie handled him very, very, very smartly. I never knew Charlie knew, knew the scriptures as well as he was quoting them right here. And I'm really impressed that he knows the scripture very well. Um, the Jesus who came here, um, the fake, fake Jesus has came here to be saying, I love your neighbor, I love your neighbor, I love your neighbor. The, according, aside love your neighbor, he never said anything again in the scripture. He does not even know the scripture. He said love yourself, love your neighbor. That is not just what Jesus came to preach about. Um, the war that happened in, um, that's happening between Israel and Palestine is something that is very, very serious. October 7th is a day that Israeli will never forget people from Israel. They killed a lot of mothers, children, and fathers. It was a holy day and Hamas came to evade. They killed a lot of people. That was something that really broke a lot of people's hearts. A lot of people died that day. And watching some of um, Charlie's video, I see some people supporting Hamas. A terrorist group who came to kill a lot of people during October 7th slaughtered a lot of people. 
people are still supporting him. They are defending Palestine. Just saying it itself is just something like you just be shocked about. And seeing this um, imposter who came to um, say he's Jesus, uh, I feel like his Dunojina is confused and he doesn't know his direction, doesn't know his left or right. He's just trying to get chase clout. Is exactly what he's doing right here because you can't tell me you're Jesus Christ and you barely know anything about the Bible. You can't do the the Ten Commandments. It's it's funny. Charlie was able to state the Ten Commandments perfectly. And I'm really impressed and even Charlie like know the scripture as well as he was speaking right here. I'm really impressed that Charlie is a Christian. I'm, I'm really happy for that about that. So comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't know papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, you in my bed. I got scales all over.